Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. So here we're about to do a general reading for your sign. This may or may not resonate with everyone. Again, this is general, so please just take it how it applies if it does. Let's go through the main energies first and we'll clarify as well as pull your advice messages from spirit at the end. All right, so you've got the Ace of Wands and your person has the Seven of Cups. Some of you, um, there's a lot of chemistry here between you and this person, okay, especially physically or there's a lot of desire, a lot of lustful energy that you and this person have or had in the past, okay? But um, it seems like you guys feel that they have other options that they're entertaining, or you could be dealing with someone who's very moody is what I'm picking up from them, okay? Or they change up on you, they shift, or whatever the case is, all right? With the Seven of Cups, this can, you know, speak about somebody who's kind of all over the place sometimes, or, you know, somebody who's confused. They can't seem to make a decision about this uh, connection, all right? But again, this does speak about options. So um, maybe some of you, again, you feel like they're, you know, entertaining you and other people, okay? So maybe they seem kind of non-committal in this uh, connection, all right? But you guys still want them regardless, okay? There's, again, a lot of attraction here with the uh, Judgment and the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or maybe you have this in your chart, okay, Aqua, but um, yes. And then we do have Leo here with uh, the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with one, but they have a lot of pride too. I feel like they want to talk to you though. They do, okay, with this Knight of Swords. Um, this can speak about communication, but you're dealing with someone who can be a little bit insensitive towards you at times, okay? Or um, maybe a little bit harsh or critical, kind of cold, detached, or whatever the case is. All right, let's go through and clarify, okay? Spirit, please clarify the Ace of Wands, the Judgment, and the Queen of Wands. Somebody here wanted a uh, reconciliation recently. Yep, somebody was missing this connection if you guys have been separated from them. Because over there on the left in the past position, we do have the uh, Three of Cups, which speaks about coming back together okay reuniting but there was also a lot of mind games here with you and this person okay with that five of swords being there and um you know the cherry here could have been a cancer and also the queen of wands yeah somebody wanted to move things forward here or take some sort of action maybe want to travel to come see you maybe this person was at a distance from you but i also feel like somebody was like you know what nah, i don't know about this okay <laughs> because somebody ended up feeling kind of defeated or just questioning whether or not this was actually a good idea to you know uh proceed with this connection okay because somebody could have felt like you know what things are just gonna go right back to being the same old same old okay so others of you i feel like you just started to move on from this connection maybe you started um hanging out more with friends or family or just living your best life here with the uh, three of cups this can represent having a good time going out being more social more active and you were trying to move on from this situation okay um, it's like you got back in the driver's seat, back in control of your emotions or overcame a situation. Okay, Aqua, but this person was still in the back of your mind. You were still hurting, um, to some degree about this or, you know, from whatever happened here with you and this person. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Now let's, uh, clarify. Spirit, please clarify the Ace of Wands, the Judgment, and also the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Wands, the Judgment, the Queen of Wands. All right, so we've got the Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you, you are attracted to this person, like I mentioned, but at the same time, you feel like you got to move on from this. Okay, Aquarius, or either you already did. All right, the Six of Swords is about leaving something behind that was very, um, I don't know, maybe tumultuous between you and this person or just difficult. All right, so you're moving on to calmer waters now with that six of swords okay and you're holding back from them now with the eight of swords it's like you know there may be desire here and i hope i'm not repeating myself too much but you're not going to take any action towards them you know you're holding yourself back um some of you may feel kind of stuck though it's like you're trying your best to let go of this person or accept things for what they are but you still feel like kind of bound in this uh situation it could be karmic here for some of you with that judgment card being there and this is about somebody from the past. Yep, Six of Cups represents, you know, somebody that you had history with or an ex. Could have been kids involved here or somebody that you knew for a long time. And this also speaks about nostalgia. So some of you, you do miss this person, especially sexually too, for some of you. Not to be too <laughs> explicit here, but hey, I'm just going to call it like I see it. So 
um, yeah, it was a very strong physical connection between you and this person. Maybe that's why it's kind of hard for somebody to let go here, okay? Because you still miss them. You do. And I bet you they miss you too. All right, Aqua. Um, Spirit, please clarify the uh, Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and also the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. This one person here. Clarify the Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and also the Knight of Swords. Somebody got cut out, though. I don't know if they did it or if you did. All right, but Spirit, please clarify the uh, Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and the Knight of Swords. All right, so they've got the Eight of Wands. They're still attracted to you, too. They are. This represents communication, too. All right, some of you, this person, they're, like, really busy. They might have a lot going on in their life. Um, either with their job or their family, their career, business, whatever. All right. Um, they might be at a distance from you as well. And there's been conflict here too, okay, between the two of you with that five of wands um, or drama. You know, something here about this connection is a little bit off, okay. And I feel like both of you understand that. Both of you know that there's some sort of toxic dynamic here, but there's still love. You both still love each other, even though things have been difficult or challenging with this five of wands all right um it could be because somebody has too many options okay it's um other people involved here and that's a big deal for somebody somebody doesn't like that oh my god and speaking of options there's the seven of cups again okay so this came out twice plus that five of wands it's just too much with this uh person or this connection some of you that's why you're leaving it alone okay because you don't want to deal with this or this person they have a mood disorder they're just um you know, I don't know if they got anger problems or they just switch up on you or maybe you do this Aquarius. I don't know. All right. But yeah, they could be trying to figure out if they should uh, come towards you. OK, because the seven of cups can also, you know, speak about needing to make a decision. And again, they've got the knight of swords, which is about communication. So maybe they're trying to figure out if they should actually reach out. OK, spirit, please clarify the six of swords, the eight of swords and also the Six of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. All right, so we've got the Lovers, uh, Gemini. Yep, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. A lot of passion and desire here. Damn, I wish I was an Aquarius right now. <laughs> but anyway, some of you, there's a lot of physical attraction between you and this person. It's very intense, very intense, okay? And some of you, you miss it too, yep. But you're holding back from this person again because we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. You don't know if you should actually go towards them. You don't know if this is a good idea, okay? Or if they've tried to come towards you, you don't know if you should respond. You're kind of guarded when it comes to them. Like, you don't really know if you can trust them because some of you, like I mentioned, they they flip the script on you all the time. Like, they keep switching up or they can't figure something out. And then, yeah, some of you, you're afraid of this connection or afraid of um, getting attached to this again with the moon. Could be a Pisces involved here. So, yeah, you're going back. Some of you, this connection gives you anxiety too, Aquarius. Yep. Um... Or you're holding back from this because you're afraid of something, okay? Not in a creepy way. It could just be you not wanting to repeat the same cycle or you're afraid the same thing is going to happen again, okay? And um, it could be secrets involved in this connection as well, yeah. Maybe it's literally a secret, okay? Maybe there's deception here. Somebody could be cheating on their spouse or there's a third party, all right? But um, anyway... Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Wands, the uh, Five of Wands, and also the Seven of Cups for Aquarius' this person. Clarify the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, some of you, it might feel like there's a lot of physical attraction, but it seems like in other areas of this connection, it's just all over the place. Like, you guys just can't get it together with this person. Okay, where the two of you have very, very different personalities and you clash. All right, spirit, clarify the uh, eight of wands, the five of wands, and the seven of cups. So where is this person? All right, and somebody's upset too. I forgot to mention that with that five of wands, it could be due to jealousy or because somebody has other options. Somebody is irritated or frustrated. Okay, um, some of you, this person, they ghosted you. Yeah, they got the high priestess, or they're not being very communicative. Okay, maybe uh, communication isn't consistent. It's random. Maybe every other week you're hearing from this person, and they just don't stay put. All right, 
And then we also have the Nine of Cups. You are what they want, though. There is wish fulfillment here, okay? There's um, something about you that they desire very strongly, all right? And we got the Sun card again, yeah, okay? So it could be a Leo here. Um, the Sun card, did that come out twice? Um, no, that was the Strength card, I think. But yeah, anyway, um, a lot of Leo energy in this reading. Some of you are dealing with one. I feel like um, this person does love you. They do. They've got love for you. But again, like I said, they tend to be all over the place sometimes, okay? Or they can't make up their mind about this connection, all right? Even if they ghosted you, they're still thinking about you, reminiscing about you with the Nine of Cups and the Sun card, okay? Um, let's pull some more clarifiers and then we'll pull your advice messages, all right? Spirit, please clarify the lovers, the Knight of Pentacles, and also the Moon card for Aquarius, Clarify the lovers, the knight of pentacles, and the moon. All right, so we've got reconciliation. And it says, I want us to get back together or at least maintain contact. Yeah, so we did have the three of clubs in the past position, which can rec you know represent reconciling, reconnecting. Okay, if you don't feel this way about this person, Aqua, then they feel this way about you. Okay, somebody is definitely missing this uh situation or connection all right we also have marriage material and it says you have so many great attributes anyone would be lucky to have you so um for number one i feel like this is spirit you know telling you this about yourself okay that um you have a lot to offer okay and maybe you shouldn't settle not with this person or anyone else who's not going to meet your standards okay so you do have a lot of great attributes others of you maybe you were married to this person or somebody's married here or um, you wanted some sort of long-term commitment with them, okay? Um, just take it how it applies. And then we also have self-serving. And it says, my main concerns are my own needs, wants, and desires, okay? I've said that word desire like a thousand times throughout this reading probably because that's what this is here for some of you, okay? Others of you, maybe you don't feel this way. Maybe you're over this person, all right? But some of you, you do still want them. It's just very clear here, all right, for somebody. And um, some of you, maybe you know that this is wrong. But again, like it says, my main concerns are my own needs, wants, and desires. So you still want this person, even though there's been conflict here. Or you know that maybe this is unhealthy for you. And you just can't help yourself, basically. All right. So anyway, Spirit, please clarify the uh, High Priestess, the Nine of Cups, and the Sun card for Aquarius's uh, person. Clarify the High Priestess, the Nine of Cups, and the Sun card for Aquarius. All right. Let's So we've got jealousy and it says, I get jealous over you. It hurts to think you want someone else other than me. I said that too. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, because somebody's got too many options. Okay. And, um, doesn't want to share. All right. So yeah, there is love here and somebody doesn't want to, um, you know, let anybody else into this connection. Right. So I don't know if it's you who has the other options, Aquarius, again, somebody is married or in some sort of long-term commitment and somebody doesn't like that. Somebody doesn't want to settle for that anymore. All right. Now, next, we also have attraction and it says, I'm extremely attracted to you, your features, your body parts, the way you carry yourself. You're just so damn sexy to me. Yeah. Yep. They are attracted to you and you're attracted to them too. Okay. And we also have teamwork, and it says there needs to be balance and mutual interest for this connection to last. All right, so um, some of you maybe literally work with the person, I don't know, or, um, you know, could be about something else here that the two of you, it's like somebody here was investing more than the other person, okay, and that's why this was not working, okay, maybe, uh, maybe emotionally somebody was more invested than the other or in some other type of way, maybe somebody was the main one to always reach out or to put effort into this and the other person wasn't doing anything, okay, I don't know if it's you or them, but like the card says, if this is going to work, there has to be some balance or mutual effort, some reciprocity going on here, okay, so just take that if that applies now spirit please show me three advice messages for aquarius this may pertain to this connection guys or it could be about just you know something else could be just general advice that spirit has for you okay spirit show me three advice messages for aquarius all right one more three advice messages for aquarius 
Okay, so we have surrender to the beauty of the natural world. And it says, take a relaxing break and spend some time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. All right, so maybe some of you need to get outdoors or go have some fun, relax. Go do something, um, you know, that uh, you enjoy, basically, okay? Could be something as simple as going to the park, okay, or the beach or something like that. All right, um, now we also have surrender your belief in scarcity. It says the universe is asking you to be open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams, okay? And we have surrender to divine timing. And it says sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. All right, so that's what came out. Aquas, if this resonated, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, okay, and also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content. All right, wish you guys the best. Take care.